let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 16 through 18, I believe. Actually, only 16. So right here. I recommend you guys to read the whole chapter, please. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. So what is it saying? Whoever you have sex with, you are becoming one with him. Let me say this here. Say if you had sex with a woman and she slept with <laughs> like <laughs> 20 guys or something. You are becoming one with her and those 20 guys. Now, if that is not creepy, I don't know what is. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> also, the main point I want to make. Let's say you have demons and the woman have demons. When you guys have sex, demons are being transferred and you keep the original demons that you already have. Demons aren't like humans. Demons can break themselves up in many pieces. That's the best way that I can describe it. Does that make any sense? So is it really a boastful thing to, I know for guys, they love to brag about how many women they can have sex with. Dude, I was the same way as well. But the thing that's going on, you are receiving demons. Get that in your head. Every woman you sleep with, you are receiving more demons, women. Every guy that you sleep with, starting from age 15, I'm starting to find out like the average age that women lose their virginity is at age 15. It's crazy. But anyways, age 15, every guy you sleep with, you are receiving demons. So are you proud of that? I know people brag about how many people they sleep with. How can you be proud about something that is causing your life chaos? So this should be an incentive to stop having sex with many people or anyone until you get married. I believe if you were to see, if you was to see the demons that was being transferred into you, I believe that you will stop fornicating and committing adultery. Seriously. It's not a cool thing. So, I hope you guys can understand everything. God bless.